So let's talk about congenital adrenal hyperplasias. So there are, there are three we're going to discuss here. Discuss here: 17 alpha, uh, 21, and 11 beta. So in the congenital adrenal hyperplasias, if you want to know which one, which symptoms the each of the hyperplasias associated with, with uh, let's get a pan out over here, either with increased or decreased blood pressure or sex hormones. So you'd go like this: you would draw it out, right? You draw it out like this, and in the first column we have blood pressure, and the second column we have sex hormones. We have B, and then we have S. So in it, when you, when you draw it out, go like this. So what you do is, for each one, make an arrow on top of it, like that. And then once you do that, oops, sorry, that wasn't such a good arrow. So now we see that in 17 alpha, blood pressure will be increased. In, in 21, sex hormones are increased. And in 11 beta, in 11 beta over here, both blood pressure and sex hormones will be increased. So I just wanted to add, that, that's, that's the mnemonic. I just wanted to add one thing, because if you notice that 21 doesn't really have a letter, right? And I feel bad because 17 gets this little alpha fishy thing, looking thing, and 11 beta gets this like B, he doesn't get anything. So he, he, maybe he got really down about it. So you know what we'll do, we'll, we'll give him CPR. Maybe I'll make him, because uh, maybe he passed out, we wanna give him CPR, so let's give him CPR. Why are we doing that? That's to remind us of three other important things associated with 21 hydroxylase deficiency. So um, in 21, is at C is going to be for the most common, common. P is going to be for increased potassium. In the other two conditions, potassium is decreased, increased potassium. And in um, R is going to be for increased renin. It's the only one of the three that has increase in renin. Okay, so let's draw this out a little bit neater. There we go. So yeah, in C, in, in uh, set 21, hydroxylase efficiency, it's the most common. Potassium is increased and renin is increased. Right, so this is in the first aid in the endocrine section. So we have 17 alpha hydroxylase deficiency. So what do we say about 17 alpha? We said that 17, the blood pressure is going to be up. So we see that blood pressure up and sex hormones are down. And we said in 21, the sex hormones will be up. The sex hormones are up. And then we said in 11, 11 beta, 11 beta, both blood pressure and sex hormones are up. Sex hormones and blood pressure are up. And finally, we gave um, 21 alpha, 21 hydroxylase CPR. We gave it CPR because we felt bad it didn't have another a letter associated with it, as did um, as did 17 alpha and 11 beta. What was CPR? That was for most common. Potassium is up, and um, renin is up, as opposed to the other two. Thank you so much for watching.